Hey, hey, it's Marley Crew. It's uh, Ricardo here. Today we're gonna see 10 different ways to use the Smart Lead API for outbound efficiency. We'll start with part one, which is this video here, where we will see five use cases, and then we'll go to part two with the additional five use cases. So the first important thing that I wanna address and that I wanna mention is that the Smart Lead API is a really powerful uh, API. This is by far the, uh, the best API in terms of cold uh, email sending tools in the market right now, but it's quite important that you pair that up with other additional tools such as a single source of true or something along those lines. Single source of true, just to give you a little bit of an explanation, is a database where you can store to different resources, different information related to your campaigns, related to your clients, the emails, the email responses and things like that. Uh, I will do further videos in the future regarding to that, but keep in mind this is a very important concept because this allows you to keep track of everything in a single place. So if you have uh, the reporting, you can have it uh, within an table in a single place, run the automations more efficiently, and then you can also run the automation based on some specific conditions, such as, for example, you can, um, you can auto-remove an email from the campaign uh, if that email uh, reaches a certain uh, uh, reputation percentage for example and by having that within the system within our table uh, this uh, makes the job quite easy for you to, to check out and also saves uh, money when running the automation so after that is said let's start off with the first use case which is probably uh, one of the most time consuming use cases which is campaign reporting so smart lead allows you to get almost every single uh, data about a campaign with the three main endpoints and then an optional one that can be used. So first off, there's an endpoint to list all the campaigns. You can get campaign top level analytics, such as email send, email open, email replied, uh, positive replies and so on, as well as uh, fetching the campaign top level identities by date range if you want to have also more granular data in regards to each specific uh, specific day so in this instance what you can have is you can have a, a high level uh, understanding of the campaigns so all the metrics uh, on the, the overall campaign level as well as on the other side you can have daily Rip daily metrics on each of the different campaigns. So this is a really powerful thing to have. The fourth thing is uh, you can uh, use this uh, uh, this additional endpoint to fetch campaign statistics by campaign uh, ID. Uh, the results that this endpoint gives you is uh, it gives you usually a list of leads uh, that either uh, are the leads present within the campaign, the leads that open the campaign, the leads that reply the campaign, and so on. And uh, uh, this is especially useful with lead replies, but we will see that uh, in a second. So here's an example of workflow where all of these uh, four fields are used. So right now I will zoom in and then I will show you a specific part of the workflow. By the way, this is a completely automating reporting system on the campaign side. This allows you to list all the campaign, filter those out by client ID if you use client ID, so that each campaign is associated to a specific client, add newer campaigns to our air table, update the, the actual active campaign metrics, add uh, the uh, daily campaign metrics if you wanted to, and also update the completing campaign metrics. And uh, so this is, needs to be done only once, and once a campaign is completed, you don't need to deal with that uh, again. So here, what I wanted to sh show is a detail of how the endpoints are used. So in this, uh, um, in this part of what we do is we get the main campaign analytics of a specific campaign. So this is uh, only related to active campaigns and the, um, the workflow that we do to update, uh, um, to update uh, uh, active campaigns. So on one side, we get the main campaign analytics. On the other side, we get the campaign responses because uh, SmartLead allows you to use uh, an API to get the campaign responses. And now I also want to show you what uh, the uh, API, um, what the API uh, data looks like. So this is uh, this one that gets you the 
the campaign data. And here you can have information such as uh, the lead name, the lead email, uh, but more importantly, the lead category, which is uh, what, uh, what we mainly use in this, uh, in this kind of automations. And uh, now to go back to, to here, we, um, we also get the daily campaign stats, as I mentioned, and here we have two different fields. On one side, we can, um, on, on one side, we uh, update the main campaign details, and here, uh, if you want to see, we can create a specific uh, endpoints, uh, uh, so, sorry, specific metrics related to specific uh, uh, lead categories. So, if in one instance we want to look at uh, uh, code booked, what we can do is uh, we can create uh, this uh, iterate and uh, iterate on an aggregator to only look at uh, the email responses that have a specific lead category of code booked. So in this way, you don't only need, uh, uh, you don't only get uh, uh, positive replies, uh, you don't only get uh, uh, all the other uh, all the other replies in general, but if you want a specific uh, understanding or a specific type of response, such as a cold booked or um, or unqualified or something along those lines, you can do that by using this uh, iterate or aggregate or um, step. And then, uh, so this is the, the top one to update the campaigns. And at the bottom, what we have is we created the daily campaign report. So this is just an example. Uh, as I mentioned here, those are the things that, uh, that we do. We uh, get the high level stats, we get uh, all the leads that responded and those are filtered and then we uh, get the granular data. Also to give you some reference uh, in regards to possible cost to run the system, this cost uh, usually one to 5% per campaign per day to run. So as an example, if you have 15 different clients within, uh, within SmartLead and you have uh, 50 campaigns, uh, this could cost 15 bucks per month to have everything around the reporting done automatically. So in this way, you have all the metrics in one single place and you can look at the metric in one single place instead of using multiple spreadsheets to look at each of the metrics for each different client. So this is the first use case. Really powerful, by the way, one of the most time-saving features uh, and uh, use cases that you can do with, uh, with SmartLead. The second thing is related to ramping up campaigns and email accounts. So in uh, this instance, what happens a lot of the time is uh, you need to launch campaign uh, very quickly and maybe you cannot wait for the proper warm-up time. So what you can do uh, is you can set up uh, a ramp-up sequence uh, uh, for campaigns and optimize uh, uh, and optimize uh, all the settings related to campaign setting, uh, campaign sending, uh, as well as the setting for the emails uh, to uh, to optimize deliverability at the, uh, at least at the beginning. One thing that I want to say uh, beforehand is I'm not a deliverability expert, but here I just want to show you what is actually possible with this kind of automation. So. Here we use uh, four main endpoints uh, within the SmartLead API. We first off uh, um, get all the email accounts uh, related to a specific campaign. Then we update the campaign settings in general. So we update the campaign general settings uh, to change information such as time between emails and max new leads per day. Uh, this is especially important if you have uh, like a fresh campaign and uh, you want to ramp up this slowly over time. And then here we also uh, use these two other endpoints, one for updating main email account settings and the other to update email warm-up settings. So this is uh, pretty much the structure of this. Uh, this is divided in the following way. When we, uh, when we start a new campaign, when a new campaign is added and uh, it was created pretty recently, we will add. Uh, we can add the campaign within our table. And by the way, this kind of uh, uh, this kind of system can be uh, this initial kind of system where, if the campaign is new, we set the status to ramp up, can be added into the uh, into the campaign reporting system that I mentioned before. It can be added at this step over here, for example. So just uh, as you can see that. Everything, uh, like most of the things in these uh, use cases are connected between each other and can be connected 
to uh, yeah to speed up the workflow even more. So um, as I mentioned here, you can uh, if a campaign is new, you can set a, a campaign status of ramp up. So campaign status of ramp up is a, a status that you add within our table, for example. Uh, to uh, to monitor the ramp up status, and here we have uh, a ramp up of five different days, where based on the day we uh, change the time between emails, we change uh, the max number of emails per day, and then we change the total uh, warm ups per day. This is done. Uh, this is done every single day until we uh, reach uh, a final ramp up stage of four. So either day four or day five, here I think is day four, where we actually set the campaign to active also within our table. So the campaign is already set to active within SmartLead. This is done mainly, um, yeah, this is, uh, the, the ramp up status is something that we have within our table to make sure that uh, we run this automation correctly. And uh, this is another example where I say, it's pretty important to have uh, an additional system to run um, an additional system like Airtable because it allows you to run this kind of automations in a much smoother way compared to uh, doing a lot of logic within the automation itself. So uh, this is uh, second automation. Third one that we have over here is another thing related to deliverability and another thing that could potentially help with the deliverability. And uh, um, what we basically do over here is we dynamically update the warm-up tags uh, in a kind of randomic way. So here we use a, a, um, we use this endpoint over here from Smartly to update uh, the warm-up settings. Uh, the same endpoint was also used over here to update warm-up settings. Uh, yeah. Here we updated settings such as the total warm-ups and the reply rate. Meanwhile, in this instance, we update another setting, which is like the, the uh, warm-up uh, uh, key pair that we use. So what we do over here is uh, we uh, generate a list of uh, 20 random words, then we get all the email IDs. So uh, ideally, you should have a place where you collect all uh, your emails uh, uh, all your emails, we, we mainly use our table for that. And then what you can do over here is you can iterate through uh, each of the emails, select uh, a random key out of the 20 that you created and then change the warm up keys. This is, uh, uh, this is done so that no uh, email has the same key, but uh, uh, the, the key is chosen out of a pool of 20. And by the way, this can be also incremented to other, uh, to other numbers such as 30, 50, or whatever you want, so that like randomization is, is even more. So this is another interesting use case and another interesting thing that you can run. The fourth thing here is uh, something that it's uh, really powerful both for you as well as in terms of uh, potential uh, service delivery and potential things that you could offer as a front end to clients. So here um, we can use Smartly to automatically add leads to a specific campaign. So if uh, like here is an example of uh, if you use uh, a tool to recognize web traffic such as RP2B, you can qualify the leads uh, within the automation and then automatically add the lead to a specific campaign. And uh, the same can be done in the case of uh, either leads not showing up or uh, if you want to create some kind of trigger-based campaign. Uh, so uh, the idea is the following here. We just use a single endpoint, uh, which is the endpoint to add uh, the um, to add the leads to a campaign, so a specific campaign, but uh, the structure of uh, uh, the structure of the following workflow can be applied through um, through different uh, use cases. Here we have the one related to website visitors. So every time you get a website visit and you have information such as uh, the email of the visitor, the LinkedIn profile, the description of the person and so on, uh, then the AI can qualify this information and then send the lead either to a newsletter or to a campaign that you have over here. Um, what I mean by saying this can actually be powerful for service delivery is that if uh, um, if uh, uh, the uh, the 
kind of clients that you're working with as some specific trigger based campaigns that they can use, such as a, a relevant person is added or something along those lines. You can create some templatized campaigns for them and then use this automation to uh, use this automation to automatically send the leads uh, within those campaigns. And uh, this can be a very streamlined kind of front end offer that can be used so that, um, so that people can be actually interested in your service more and more. And uh, you can build this out in a very scalable, uh, scalable way. So just, uh, um, yeah, just a little bit of a, a, another information uh, where uh, automation and a smart lead not only can be used to enhance your own workflow, but could potentially be used to enhance also your offering and uh, how you deal uh, with with clients and what you can offer to clients. So yeah, this is uh, um, this is the fourth one. Now we will see the fifth one, which is uh, replying to emails. Another powerful, powerful features that a lot of people use within, Smart, uh, uh, within the Smartlead API is the functionality to reply uh, directly uh, within the API. And uh, this is really powerful for two main reasons. First off, you can build a custom inbox management interface like the one that I showed you here at the bottom. And then if you want to get even more advanced and if you want to do like the a super advanced uh, AI high tech thing, you can create auto, uh, AI agents that uh, reply automatically to your messages. And uh, this, uh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, can actually be done. And this is a really powerful use case that also smartly does as planned. So we will see the first one because it's uh, way simpler. So you can have a little bit of an idea. So here, you can uh, create a, an interface like the following, where you have email responses as well as uh, um, as well as different things. So here we added uh, templated responses. So if you have a specific template that you use for each client, you can add that, and uh, this is automatically populated in the draft to reply. Or you can also have uh, the type of response, and this is useful for uh, tracking metrics and tracking new things. So. Once uh, you uh, once you click, for example, here the send button and the draft reply is populated. Here is the automation that we have. So we start up the automation, we get the email response, and then we actually respond to, to the email uh, over here. One thing that we can do, uh, we do also over here, is we make sure that uh, the email is properly formatted. So we uh, we actually uh, format the response to HTML before sending that out uh, to uh, before sending that out. Okay, yeah. So those are the first five ones. I have five more additional use cases that are even more interesting than this one. Uh, hope you like this video and. Uh, uh, Again, uh, if you like that, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the Smart Lead channel, and catch you soon with the next one. Bye, bye.